Gamze Yalçın is one of the muralists that has been adding color to the streets of Istanbul. Let's take a look at how she decorates the streets. She expressed herself on walls in Istanbul and many other cities. Inspired by both nature and animals, Turkish muralist Gamze Yalçın expresses herself through her colorful combinations of images. So painting in different countries is very important for street artists because we feel more freedom, we feel more uh, creative, that mobility is very important for us. But Gamze doesn't just paint for fun. Her murals also carry social messages, such as the four monkeys on a wall in Istanbul. The painting behind me that I paint last uh, winter in the cold weather, I try to express like we are always talking about three monkeys. Actually, I'm trying to see the four monkeys. We are co covering our heart and that is blocking us. It's blocking our emotions and it's blocking our dreams for the future. So I try to, I try to express that feeling. Gamze uses the community's role in her art, but she tries to give back more than just her murals. Last year I painted like for, for four uh, different hospitals in children who live there. It's a foundation and also another project for like workshops with children, painting with them. And because it's the biggest uh, feature, I think, that if we teach art, if we show art how it works, so then they are getting more and more how they, we can bring good things to this world. So this is the starting point for me because I inspired doing murals in Philippines in the dump site when I was painting with children in trash uh, areas with, uh, with friends. Those memories will stay with Gamze for a long time, possibly after her murals lose their color and the walls crumble. To give us some insight into why street art is so popular globally, we're joined in the studio by Professor Doğan Aslan, who's an artist and an academician at Istanbul Medeniyet University. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to be with you. Tell us about this uh, popular activity and the development of it and its history. Definitely. Um, street art is a visual art that is, um, that's painted on the walls, uh, um, public locations. And uh, when we look at the history, mainly um, these uh, street art uh, graffiti um, became popular in the Bronx in New York around 90, uh, 1980s. And uh, during these days, uh, hip hop uh, culture and uh, street art uh, affected each other. And then um, uh, uh, we have this, some photographs and video that is show that uh, there are some good examples uh, during these days. And uh, there are some names, Kit Haring, the famous um, artist who painted uh, his beautiful drawings on the wall of uh, a Bowery um, mural that is in Soho, it was in Soho. And, uh, and these um, activities is, became uh, uh, popular in, the, in the, these days. Although we have some examples in the 1960s and 70s, but these uh, examples were, uh, were a little bit few. And um, especially uh, 80s and 90s, uh, street art became uh, uh, very popular. And when we look at again this uh, other part of the world in terms of uh, uh, Europe, for example, the Berlin uh, uh, was also the um, uh, main uh, center of the, this uh, street art. Uh, the 80s, as far as I remember, the 1980s, uh, West and uh, East Berlin wall and it became a, a center of um, um, uh, graffiti and uh, street art. And uh, there were some good examples around these times. Again, uh, around this 90s uh, in London, and Banksy's works uh, in Bristol, again, yes. uh, very uh, popular. And uh, he, uh, be, uh, he became an international uh, uh, graffiti artist. And these are the, what I remember in, in terms of the, when we look at the history of uh, uh, street art and uh, graffiti. Mm -hmm. Professor Asa, how and why did people first start uh, expressing themselves on the streets and on the walls? Uh, that's a great question. I think uh, when we look at the, uh, the uh, natural, location, uh, natural concept of this street art, um, if you have an uh, aspiring and a, a young um, artist and you want to show your work, right, and you want to go to museum and gallery, but the museum and galleries, are, uh, 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 they have, they works with the money. 
So they, uh, they, uh, they, they work with the established artists. So if you are young and if you're looking for such a place, I think the street is the perfect place to show their feelings and minds and uh, ideas. So uh, that is, I think, one of the good reason and the best reason for the young people to show their works on the street. And uh, uh, having your work on the street, on the wall, is also the democratic way to expose your um, work uh, to the, uh, all the people on the street. But if you have the work you're in a gallery and a museum, is limited. And uh, that's why I think that people uh, like to show their work on the uh, wall, on the street. And uh, if you go to the New York or Paris, Istanbul, and uh, it's a more, uh, it's a general, uh, general um, public that you can see, and which is, I think, much better in terms of the reaching the people. Mm -hmm. Well, the, um, I do like that. That's it. It makes it democratic for artists, definitely, for everybody. Uh, Istanbul is like a, you know, artwork to walk through. Anyway, tell us about this city's relationship with art. Just briefly. Definitely. Uh, I think it's 15 years uh, or 20 years ago uh, when I was in Istanbul before moving to Europe. Um, there wasn't that much uh, uh, graffiti or street art. But after uh, moving from New York to the, um, Istanbul three years ago, I was shocked that there were a lot of uh, nice, beautiful images uh, in many parts of the, uh, Istanbul, especially in the old city, uh, Istiklal Street and um, 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 the Tunnel and the Shishani and Kareke uh, uh, has a lot of nice um, uh, sign of uh, artists from national and international artworks. And, uh, and, and also the Asian side, Kadike and Mora, uh, you can see the beautiful uh, artworks, uh, graffiti uh, from, again, uh, different uh, background uh, artists. So the Istanbul is, uh, you know, is a unique uh, place, uh, uh, in a historically and in a, in a geographically. So and many uh, young artists, they want to show their work uh, to, to, to express their uh, feelings and their ideas uh, on mm -hmm. the walls. Well, these artworks can actually become symbols of cities these days and even tourist destinations. And this is a global phenomenon. Um, are there any other cities that you find especially inspiring? Or well, works? Uh, definitely. I mean, I have been in many cities from uh, Cuba, Havana to Montreal, from uh, New York to uh, Sydney, and even in Africa and Japan. So uh, whenever I go to this city, first things that I do is to go to the street and look at the walls. Because wall is the uh, real and raw organic uh, ideas and concept of the artist. And definitely I go to the museum and galleries, but to me the street and the picture images, or whatever you call logos and all kind of uh, visual images and type and uh, lettering, is to me, the art to me is an expression of those uh, people. And, and uh, these are to me is very powerful. And that's why I think in the last 10 years, this uh, 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 graffiti or street art became a very big uh, impact uh, uh, in many uh, 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 countries and cities. Definitely. Well, Professor Aslan, thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you.